Hey guys, it's Bizmodo. It's been a while. Uh, did a name change. Was a Grand Marquis. Went to Bizmodo. Thing that made a little bit more sense. I made my YouTube channel probably about uh, I don't know, almost five, ten years. I I don't really remember. I would have to look again. I think it was 2005. I made my. Oh, so it wasn't that long. No, it was longer than. Yeah, it was probably about 2005. I made my channel. I think. But, uh, yeah, I think it was time for a name change. Uh, a little more fitting for the channel. Uh, I'm on the Zoomer today, and uh, things are running great. I mean, it's running really good, but I, I tell you what, it seems like the motor makes a lot of noise. I mean, I, I don't really know if it's a motor or the variator or what, but uh, I had a Glixel variator in here, and the bushing for that wore out completely. Uh, the bushing for the uh, where it, it actually slides back and forth uh, to make the belt tighter or looser that was like way loose so I put the stock one back on but uh, I don't know I think it maybe just because the motor is breaking in now I think it's just getting a little more noisier I think that's common with Chinese scooters though because I kind of remember somebody else having one and it being really noisy all the time but uh, it runs perfect I mean I'm not having any problems with how it's running or anything right now I mean, every once in a while, if you make a fast stop or something, it might stall out on you, but I think that's just a float moving around. Uh, next time I pull the carburetor apart, I'll probably do a float adjustment, just to, or I just check the float adjustment and see if it's, you know, all right. But other than that, everything's working great on here. Uh, I got something else that'll be new to the channel. It's coming in another couple weeks. Or, I don't know, maybe I'll get it this week, but uh, they say it takes like 10 to 15 days or something. But I hear about people getting theirs within like 7. So, we'll have something new to ride. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe, stay tuned. Uh, it's kind of funny, I, I make these videos and it seems like I... You know, I got a lot of people who liked my truck, so I'm losing subscribers who liked my truck, I'm guessing. And, uh, you know, I'm, I might be ganging some from the people who like my scooter or whatever. But uh, it's like I'm stuck at like 138. I gang one, I lose one. I gain one, I lose one. So I'm, I've been at 138 forever now. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're even slightly interested, subscribe. Uh, you know, I mean, you... Even if you don't hit the bell, whatever, you know, you won't get notifications. But, I mean, if you're at least a little interested, you'll, you know, I think you see it somehow, like, if you scroll through all your stuff, whatever. But, I don't know. Yeah, I just think it's kind of funny that I was stuck 138, and I think it's been that way for a couple of years already now. <laughs> it's okay, though, you know, as long as I have some people out there who actually like what I'm doing or, you know, I help out at least somebody with something they need. You know, information, whatever. Even if I help out that one person, it makes me, you know, feel like I'm doing something. So, it's all that matters. I still haven't done a vlog with my motorcycle yet. I did one one day, and I lost all the footage, of course. Uh, I was trying to edit it, and I just screwed it up so bad it was beyond saving. So... Just driving down these roads out here this time of night, they're so dead gonna be a nice quiet ride uh, the scooter is still averaging about I don't know anywhere from like going uphill probably about 30 miles an hour and then like if like we're going down this hill I could probably get it way past 50 but I don't want to I don't want to blow the motor up so but uh, like on the flat I think we'll do a nice even Anyway, on a flat, it'll do anywhere between like 45 to 50. So I think it just depends on how the wind is or whatever. And I also think it also depends on how cool it is outside. So I, I almost think it runs better when it, it's at least a little cooler out, which kind of makes sense. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything for me on this thing, uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, put it in the comments below, and I usually reply, you know, I work during the week, but I usually, when I get home, I'll see it, or even when I'm at work on my breaks, I might reply back. Uh, 
But I, you know, I think I got most of the bugs worked out of it, so I, I've just been able to drive it now and enjoy it finally. I'm pretty sure that rattling I got is just the variator and the belt and stuff like that. It doesn't seem to be anything major. Uh, I actually rode this with two people yesterday and uh, it was flat ground and we were doing 45. I couldn't believe it. I was like, holy crap. You know, you, when you if you buy one of these things and you put a big bore kit on it, you will not believe how tiny the pistons are in these things. I, when, I, when I tore it apart, I was like, what the hell? I'm like, how the hell could that even move anybody? It's kind of ridiculous, but it, it does it. I mean, and it, this thing's got some pep, you know, I mean, of course it's not a motorcycle, but compared to like even my uh, two-stroke scooter I had, uh, I had a Honda, I think it was a CH80, I think it was. Uh, don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. But uh, I think this is like much faster than the, you know, the CH, the CH80. Uh, and you know, I also had like, uh, what else did I had? I used to have the Yamaha Raz, which was actually a really fun scooter. I, I drove that thing everywhere when I was a kid. I mean, I was probably in my teens. You know, now I'm in my 40s, I'm getting old, but whatever. You know, it's not how old you are, it's how you feel inside, I guess. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that, that uh, Yamaha Raz, I drove that thing everywhere, you know. I, I used to uh, like go to RC car racing and I'd drive it to the RC car track and all that. And it was a lot of fun. Boy, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is recording because the light's blinking, but I, you know, the, this, this, I don't know if it's catching the colors of the sun, whatever, but it looks really nice. Uh, yeah, what other scooters did I have? Uh, I bought my girlfriend, uh, oh geez, I think it was a Honda Elite. I don't know, it was a 50cc though. And uh, that one wasn't slow though either, to tell you the truth. That one actually did about 40 miles an hour. And so did uh, my 80, I think, did only like 40 miles an hour. So uh, it's kind of funny how an 80 and a 50 could do the same speed pretty much. I, I think, it'll, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because electronics are a whole lot better or what the deal is, but. Uh, what else? Oh, and I had a Yamaha Vino. Uh, that one was slow, but it was fun. It was a really nice scooter. It, it was so, it was fancy. It was like an old retro one. Uh, I would take one of those in a heartbeat again. That, that thing was a lot of fun, and I, I imagine you could probably soup it up. I know I drilled out the exhaust a little bit where it bolts up to the motor. They have like a restrictor right in there to slow it down back then. And that seemed like it helped it out go a little faster, but I, I don't think it did 40 miles an hour. I think I got it where it only do like 35 maybe. Uh... But, yeah, like I said, I'm getting a new bike. Uh, it'll be fun to have. Uh, let's just put it that way. You got, uh, there'll be people who will like it, and I'm sure there's going to be people who will hate it. So, But it will be different. So stay tuned for that. Uh, when I get that, I'll, I'm going to try to do an unboxing, but i, I got to take a day off of work, and depending on what time it comes, because I know UPS sometimes shows up uh, at my house anyways. You know, sometimes they'll show up early, like 3 o'clock, or, you know, sometimes before 12, and then there's other days where UPS won't show up until, like, 6 or 7, so it's like, if it's 7, I'm not going to be able to do an unboxing that day, I might have to wait till the weekend, but I'm going to take a day off of work, probably, when it gets delivered, and, uh, I'll try to do an unboxing, and, uh, it's just gonna be me like I like I said I don't have many friends who are around like when I'm off of work you know and they're oh man this road is closed we had that flood and I guess this road still must be messed up from that flood which was like geez so that was quite that was quite a while ago now I mean you guys look back to the video I made that was when the flood pretty much first happened and I don't know what's going on now, but if we can get around this, we'll go take a peek and see what's going on. Oh, you know what? It looks like we can. So we are going through it. This is closer through, uh, through traffic. Well, I'm going through, so I guess that's me, I hope. Uh, I don't know what they got going on here. This is kind of weird. Just a bunch of 
<laughs> they're putting mobile homes over here. I guess they're planning on living out here. But I, I'll, I imagine this was underwater at one time. When that, yeah, you can see how dirty it is over here. Well, yeah, this washed out, obviously. So they're filling it. Holy moly, I got to pay attention. <laughs> Holy crap, like Psycho Cruiser would do, if I, if I mess up, I'd have a fucked up day. <laughs> oh, this is fun. A little, you can feel the tires sliding out, though, and, you know, I watched the one guy riding his uh, Grom, I think it was, and it slid out from under him, and, oh, man, you, like, broke his ribs and stuff, and, no, nah, I don't think I want to do that, so I'm going to be a little careful, because I, this stuff, I can feel the tires just moving and sliding back and forth. Uh... But yeah, this must have all washed out during the flood and they're trying to rebuild it again. Wow. I think we're good for a little while now. That road's actually really fun to, this road's really actually fun to drive on and go fast, but, because it's got a lot of curves and stuff, but like I said, it, it's like, really dusty and gravelly and uh, man if this thing slid out from under me I think I'd be in a world of hurt uh, I'll tell you what I would rather wipe out on a scooter I think than a motorcycle that's for sure uh, you know I wear uh, for gear I basically got you know I wear my gloves which I, I love these I, I, I don't know I just like the white and black you know I wish I I wish all my bikes were white and black <laughs> uh, but I got my, you know, my gloves are white and black. I got a black and white leather jacket, and uh, I just think it looks really nice. And uh, it's got like, a, I don't know, it's not Kevlar, I don't think, but it's got like the protector for if you fall on your shoulders and you know on your back. Uh, the back thing is, I think it's just a big hunk of rubber stuffed in there or something. But I mean, I guess it's gonna help. You know, anything that helps you from getting road rash is great. You know, uh, my niece was telling me. You know, a couple days or today that uh, her dad and stepmom were out riding scooters in uh, Mexico and she wanted to drive and she tried to drive and she wiped out and uh, I think she was even wearing a helmet but she messed herself up and bonked herself in the head and had a seizure and had to stay in the Mexican hospital pretty much for their whole vacation. So, I mean, even on a scooter, you, you know, you get hurt pretty severely when something fucking goes wrong. Uh, I don't know, I mean, uh, uh, you know, I try not to swear too much on my videos. I'm sorry if that offends you, but I don't know. Let me know if it does. I'll try to keep it clean. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I work at a factory, so I hear it all day. You know, I mean, it, it, it kind of sucks that... Uh, you pick up on stuff like that, but, but whatever, you know, I mean, it, I don't care if people swear, I don't care, you know, if they smoke or drink or, you know, I, you know, I drink a little bit, but I, you know, I, I don't do no drugs or nothing, and my work requires me not to, so it's probably best if I don't, <laughs> you know, and, uh, but I don't hold nothing against people who smoke or, you know, do whatever they do, it, that's their business, you know, but, uh, I mean, uh, I I feel bad for bikers who drink and drive, you know, when they get killed and stuff, because, you know, I honestly don't think anybody deserves to die, you know, but I mean, I, I, I kind of hate it when they uh, drink and drive and then they endanger other people's lives. That's, that's the part that bothers me. Um, I know we had a couple out here, out by, uh, they were out driving by I-94, they are like a, a married couple or whatever, he was out driving his motorcycle, her on the back, and I don't think drinking was involved, but I, I don't know, but uh, he went around the corner too fast, you know, and couldn't make it, and they crashed, and they went flying, and they both died, and it's like, that, you know, that, that, that sucks, you know, I mean, so it's like, you, you Drinking or not, you gotta really be on your toes when you're riding a motorcycle or whatever, you know, because anything could happen. I could be driving right here right now and a freaking uh, raccoon or something could jump out in front of me, you know. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen or hit a pothole or. Uh, I was watching another YouTube video where a guy was driving and something through, flew up from the road and smashed his windshield and went and hit him in the chest and knocked the wind out of him. It's like you never know what's going to happen on the road, you know, I mean, I I like driving without my helmet on, but after watching all these videos of people getting hurt and stuff, I, I think it's just better to wear a helmet and your gloves and gear and stuff. 
Um, but I mean, that's your choice. But watch some of those. If you're buy, if you're planning on buying a bike or a scooter, I highly recommend you watch like crash videos first and really get an idea of what could happen to you. Because some of the crashes you would not even think would happen. You know, they're just driving around the corner and things slides out and they crash, and, or car turns right in front of them. And it, it, it's funny you're watching the video. I'm like, how could they not see that? You know that that's going to happen. But when you're driving, I guess you know things happen faster. You know. <laughs> well, I've really jabbered today. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, but like I say, just try to stay safe out here. I mean, you really got to watch what you're doing. I mean, I, I imagine if you hit a freaking little chipmunk on one of these little scooters, you'd probably <laughs> have a chance of wiping out. Who knows? But, uh, I don't know. Uh, I really have been enjoying myself, though. You know, I got almost 2,000 miles, almost a little over 2,000 miles on this scooter now. And uh, to be honest with you, I think it's running a ton better. So what I would say for anybody who wants to get one of these is, see, I jumped into putting a big bore kit in right away. But what I would recommend doing probably, which would probably be a whole lot smarter than what I did, because, you know, I'm always in a rush for everything. I, if I start a project, I got to get it done today, like now. And, uh, you know, that's not a good thing, because especially for me, because I'm not rich. I don't make a lot of money. Uh, but I'm, I make myself broker than what I need to be by rushing into things all the time. You know, if I would have just took my time and broke this in properly, and, and that's what I'm, the point I'm trying to get at. Break it in first, you know, put a couple, put like a thousand miles on it first. Get it, get it broken in. Then, uh, you know, then do the big bore kit because then the crank and everything is broken in and stuff like that. And uh, I'll tell you what, I, I changed the oil in here like religiously like every couple hundred miles when I first got this and the first couple times I changed it there was quite a bit of metal shavings coming out where the point where I was freaking out so I would I would just say break it in first you know do your oil changes con constantly uh, get get like a thousand miles on it and then do your big bore kit and the way I would do it is yeah, when you get a big bore kit, get the bigger carburetor right away because you don't want to run these lean because then you could really burn up the motor or cause some kind of damage. Ugh, there's bugs everywhere. My whole visor's covered. I hope you guys... <laughs> I got like a big old moth in here, I think. issues going on here. Alright, we'll be right back guys. Okay guys, this is going to be take two now, or three actually. Uh, I started leaving and I realized I didn't have my glasses on and messed up that video. So, uh, you know, I, uh, my microphone fell down. I only have it taped in my stupid helmet. i got to find a better way to do it, but or just use more tape. <laughs> but uh, anyways, what I was saying about the big bore kit is, uh, like I said, f first drive your scooter a thousand miles, then put the big bore kit on. Uh, when you get the big bore kit, get the carburetor at the same time because, uh, you know, you want to have, you don't want to run it lean because lean is really bad running your motor hot, you know, make it run really hot. So get your carburetor and your jets right away. Uh, for me, I'm running a 94 jet. Uh, and that work seems to be working good. And I'm running the, I believe it's called the P20 carburetor. Uh, and that seems to work good for me. Uh, so get that, you know, and run the 94 jet, start there, and then if you need to make adjustments, do it, you know, richer, leaner, whatever you gotta do. Uh, I don't think you're gonna have to go leaner than 94, though. Maybe richer, but I highly doubt leaner. Um, I'm even thinking I should maybe run maybe a little bit more rich, richer. Uh, jeez. Yeah, see, I don't like riding that light like this, because I have a really hard time seeing when cars are coming at me. Uh, so I'm probably gonna be heading back. But, uh, you know, do that with your carburetor or whatever. 
and put that on and then uh, honestly with the zoomer I don't think an exhaust is going to make a difference uh, or, or zoomer or whatever the hell this thing is uh, I don't think an exhaust is going to make a difference if you change the exhaust uh, from everybody what I hear is they say it makes it louder but they don't really notice anything different when they put the exhaust on so why bother changing it you know, the, the zoomer exhaust seems like it's pretty well built you know summer whatever uh, but uh seems like it's built pretty well uh, and i think it flows good enough because if you look at how small the, the hole is that goes into the carb and you look at the hole that comes out of the exhaust i, I think that's just plenty you know because I, I think you want a little bit of back pressure i don't think having just no back pressure at all is good so i would leave uh, you know that's up to you but i would leave it stock um Unless you find a good way to mount it, I know I can't find a good way to mount the exhaust on this stupid thing with the dual shocks they got on this thing. Um, but yeah, that, that would be my recommendation, and you know, you can run whatever oil you want. You know, I'm running synthetic in here, but I honestly think with how many often I do oil changes and stuff, I don't think it would matter if I ran synthetic or if I ran like... Uh, See, for me, I would run Quaker State if I was to run a conventional oil because, I don't know, I always had good luck with Quaker State. I never had a car go bad while I was running Quaker State. But I know, like, I used to run Valvoline, and every car I ever owned that had Valvoline ended up getting engine problems and knocks and bearings spinning. And, you know, I, you know, I, I just don't like uh, Valvoline, but I don't know. It just might just be me. You know, other people might have great luck with it, but I'm just not a fan. Um... I just prefer Quaker State. Uh, I would probably run, I'm running, you know, I'm running uh, uh, Mobile One uh, 1030, but I'm thinking about moving up to, uh, you know, maybe Mobile Mobile One uh, 1040 in here. And if I was to run regular straight weight oil, you know, regular uh, conventional oil, I would probably go with the 1040. Because these motors get really stinking hot. So. But yeah, just be smart, you know, take care of it, you know, break it in. And I think it will last you a while. Like I said, this thing's running great. It's got like a, it sounds quiet right now, but I know uh, sometimes it gets like a weird rattle, but I think that's just a variator making noise and the belt and stuff. And I, I just think these motors are noisy to begin with, to tell you the truth. Um... But yeah, uh, I got to do a vlog with my motorcycle though. It's like I'm neglecting my motorcycle. So we'll do a ride on that. Uh, maybe sometime this week if it the weather stays nice. Uh, once it starts getting cold out, I'm a big baby. So <laughs> I probably won't be riding too much. Uh, unless somebody sends me a snowmobile suit or something. Uh, don't ask me how the hell you size those things because I never bought a stupid snowmobile suit. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of cold weather. So... I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, 60 degrees, you know, 50 degrees, perfect. Uh-uh, not for me. <laughs> I, I would rather be hot than cold any day. Um, but I'm going to try doing as many vlogs as I can before fall or whatever. And if I can find a way to stay warm, maybe I'll do more. I don't know. But I, I'm excited about the new thing I'm getting. I, I think you guys will like it. We'll see. Uh, I don't want to tell you what it is. I want it to be a surprise. So, uh, so uh, any of you guys who ended up getting the Zummers or whatever, you guys, you know, I had a couple of people saying they're going to buy one. Uh, Post a video up. I'd like to see it, you know, or send me send me a link for your pictures in the description or something. I'd like to see the one you got, or you know, the colors you got, or anything you do to it. You kind of need to see. Uh, what else? I don't know, guys. They had a they had a big scooter rally in Lake Geneva last weekend, and I. I was going to do a vlog on it, but then uh, I own a mobile home and we put siding on it last year and we had some pieces that we still had to put on. 
So by the time my, my uh, old neighbor came over and put the siding up for me and we finished, I it was late and I already missed pretty much all the crews for the scooter. But I did drive to Lake Geneva anyways and I kind of caught them up, I caught up with them in there and it was kind of cool. I guess they had a... Uh, they had a ride in Lake Geneva, like I said, with all the scooters, and they went around the lake in Lake Geneva. And uh, after that, they stopped at the Lake Geneva movie theater, and they seen some old uh, movie that had scooters and Audrey Hepburn in it and all this other stuff. And it was like an old scooter movie, you know, and they, they rented out the whole movie theater just for everybody to go see that movie. And I thought that was pretty cool. I kind of wanted to do it, but like I said, I ran late. I probably could have caught the movie, but I wasn't sure, so... I didn't have the paperwork on me that told me the times when they were going to do everything. So I, I just kind of figured, well, you know, it was fun. I got to see them go through town and all that. But unfortunately, I didn't get to participate. So maybe uh, next time I will and I'll do a vlog on that. Or do a, you know, I could do a ride and you guys can just enjoy the ride, you know, and watch the video. Uh, kind of wish I had people to ride with out here, you know, I mean, I, I see people and they honk, but I'm, they're usually on the road farther away from me or, you know, and I can't catch up or whatever, but uh, I guess in time, eventually I'll find somebody to ride with, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, I should have went. Uh, I probably still got time to go. <laughs> oh, well. Whatever. We got time. I'm in no rush. Jeez, this guy's driving slow. But yeah, I, I hope you guys heard... I hope uh, my microphone was working the first part of the video uh, when I first started the ride. But like I said, my microphone fell out, so I don't know when it did. So if it did fall out... I may not be posting this video if I lost half my footage. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to head back. It looks like there's clouds that might be headed this way and I don't want to get stuck in the rain. Uh, it's probably about, I don't know, 60. 65 outside right now. It's not bad. Not that this ain't too bad of riding weather. But man, I, lo I love driving this thing. It's just such a blast, you know. I mean, I drive it to work. I drive it town. I, you know, if I if I lived somewhere like Arizona, I'd probably drive this thing every day. Something's like smacking on my bike. I don't know if it's my phone charger or what it is, but it's kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're going through the town of Twin Lakes right now. Oh, there's the lake. This place right here was on TV for that uh, Food Network uh, Restaurant Rescue, whatever it's called. Uh, it failed again, so <laughs> no biggie. I actually, I th yeah, I think it was called Pure West, the episode of Pure West, I believe it was called. Uh, Food Network, I think it was, uh, yeah, the, the Restaurant Rescue one. I forgot the guy's name. I used to watch it all the time, but I can't remember the stinking name. But yeah, it failed again and new people took it over. So. Nice little ice cream shop. <laughs> Not much in this town. But it's a fun place to ride through. There's a little uh, resale, uh, I don't know what they call it, pawn shop or whatever, resale shop over here. They, they have a little, it looks like an old Honda moped. Uh, we're going to be driving by it in a second. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because it's getting dark. 
But uh, I don't know, it looks like some parts are missing. It looks like the headlight's gone and stuff. But yeah, it's this building right here coming up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's so dark, but it's right there against their wall. A little yellow moped. <laughs> kind of neat. But uh, I'm sure they're probably, they're probably asking a fortune for it, so I'm not buying it. <laughs> If I could get one of those for like 200 bucks or something, maybe I'd buy it, but I'm not going to spend those $600 for a stick on wheels, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, guys, stay tuned. Uh, like I said, something new is going to be coming in the next couple of days, well, probably within the next week or so, two weeks. I'll keep you informed of, if I'm doing another vlog in between, I'll keep you informed if I hear any updates or when it's showing up. And just stay tuned and subscribe. Uh, I need subscribers, guys. <laughs> just uh, just amuse me and hit the subscribe button, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, like I said, it doesn't matter though. I, I don't mind if if I'm just helping out a couple people. It's cool. But, but I'll tell you what though, like I, like I said, now that the scooter's broken in, I, it seems like it's running a whole lot better now. I'm actually very happy with it. It will never be as dependable, of course, like like my Honda motorcycle, you know, it's not going to be always that dependable, that dependable. This thing will probably always need, you know, this tightened up or this adjusted or, you know. I'm sure probably next year I'll probably end up having to replace, you know, the valve stems on it and stuff like that. I don't know, we'll see how it holds up. But correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know if I'm uh, if I'm sure on this, but uh, don't some of you might know who owns them, but the ruckuses, aren't they aren't a lot of people who own the ruckuses pulling out the motors and putting the uh, GY6 150 motors in them. I mean, so they're basically taking out a good, you know, Japan-made motor and putting in a Chinese motor. Uh, you know, I th I'm thinking that's what they're doing. Am I right? I don't know. You guys will have to answer. Let me know. Yeah. Those things are badass. I wouldn't mind having one of those, but now I'm going to have three motorcycles in a little tiny shed, you know, or, well, scooter, motorcycle, whatever. But they're going to all be in the shed, you know, and I got a little, you know, my shed's not huge. So I got a, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to buy any more stuff after this unless I, I part with something. And I think if I was to part with something, it'll probably end up being my motorcycle. I don't know, we'll have to see. But I, it seems like I ride this more than anything right now and I'll, I wouldn't doubt it if the next thing I get, I'll be driving even more than I do this. So I don't know, we'll see. Well, I think it's going to be a good time, that's for sure. Whew. That wind, man, you get, the, you get the spots where it gets cold, and then it gets warm again, and then cold. But you guys will find that out for those of you guys who don't have bikes yet, and you guys buy one of these. You guys will see, you'll be driving down the road, it'll be warm and sunny. Then all of a sudden you'll hit a cold spot of air where it just feels like it dropped like 20 degrees or 10 degrees or whatever. It's kind of funny. But yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really proud of this thing. I, I Like I said, I rode with two people yesterday, you know, she probably weighs as much as, you know, close to what I do, probably, you know, I weigh 100, and, well, I weigh 180, I don't think she weighs that much, maybe about 150, 160, maybe, so, you know, we're, we're talking, like, over three, over 300 and some pounds on this thing, and that thing was just boogieing, doing 45 miles an hour, I was like, holy shit, <laughs> this little, you know, uh, 100 cc, little tiny scooter does a good job. I watch a lot of the videos with Fooligan and all these people who have Groms and stuff and it's like, man, that would be so fun to ride with them. I would love to fly out there or something and just meet up with them at one of their meets or something, but 
I don't know. I, I, I like I said, I'm not a big fan of airplanes, but it would be so fun to go there. I guess they're out of Florida. I think if I remember right, I'm pretty sure it's Florida they're from. I do seem to have one problem with the scooter. It seems like sometimes the left-hand blinker does not work right sometimes. And you know what? See that van pulling over there? It seems like I drive through here all the time and a, a van always pulls over there. So I wonder if it's like a drug meeting spot or something, like some kind of secret drug meeting spot or something. But I, I see it quite often. They, it's probably like the third time now I came down this road and a van like that pulled over on the side of the road there. So it's kind of weird. It might even be in one of my other videos. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. I don't know if you guys could even see anything because it's so dark out here. I might just be talking to complete darkness. But I'm sorry, I meant to do this video like way earlier, but I met my uh, dad's first wife's uh, son, you know, so my stepbrother. And uh, oh my God, it was so weird. It's like, I know what I'm, it's like looking into a mirror, you know, it's like looking in a crystal ball at myself, you know, like uh, 20 years from now. I was like, holy crap, this is weird. I mean, he looks, he's taller than me, but man, he looks like almost identical. It's like weird. But man, it was, was kind of neat, you know, the meat, meets, you know, I, I never met him before in my life, so it was really neat to meet him. I always, I, for some odd reason, I always assumed my dad had a, a daughter, but then, uh, you know, probably like 10 years ago, I heard it was, you know, they were talking about it and it was a son, and I'm like, wow, you know, that's kind of crazy, and I never met him, you know. But it was a lot of fun meeting them, that's for sure. I hope I see them again soon, honestly. Ugh, I got somebody behind me. I hate it when I got people behind me. But we're, we are doing over the speed limit, so I shouldn't have a problem, I wouldn't think. There's a bar up here on this road and a lot of drunk assholes, man. I'll drive by here and they'll start shouting shit and stuff and, you know, they're bikers and whatever and, I don't know, they just act like jerks. It's like, yeah, I got a bike too, you know, but I'm not going to treat somebody who drives a moped or whatever differently, you know. To be honest with you, I, I have so much more fun on this thing. This thing, you can just whip around corners and you just twist the throttle and go, you know. It's like, it gives you like a whole new level of confidence on the motorcycle. You're, you're you know, you're driving five, six hundred pounds down the street or more. You know, you, something happens on that, you're going to have a really fucked up day. Um, well, yeah, Psycho Cruiser is famous for it's fucked up day. <laughs> Watch his videos. He's, his videos are really good and informative. Uh, you know, he, he'd probably be the one to watch if you really want to see good uh, motorcycle vlogging. But I, I still say for, if you want to just watch somebody who's funny, I mean, I probably watch her video so many times now, I wish she would post something new, but, uh, you know, I understand life happens. Uh, but uh, Rider 115, uh, Moto, she she cracks me up. She she's uh, she's got a cool voice. I mean, uh, I like her voice a lot. It, when I was first watching it, I'm like, what am I? Am I watching a, a kid or is this a you know? I, at first, I was like, okay, is this a, a, a young kid or what? You know, is it? And then uh, you know, she's actually uh, I think I don't know. Like, she's probably about 20 now. I would think. I'm not sure though. She said in one of her videos, but I don't remember. But man, I watch her. I think I watch her, her videos probably more than three times for each video. So she probably made a fortune off of me on YouTube. And uh, you're very, you're very welcome, writer. I'm more than uh, happy to watch your videos and make you some money. Uh, you know, I mean that's what it's about. You know, I mean that she, you know, if, you, if people put up videos and people like them, you know, they should get paid for them. And I, I hope she makes good money doing that. 
I, I don't make much making videos. I, I the, the one video I made that made me money, basically, was the video on my truck uh, when I got done building it. Uh, that video right there pretty much made me a hundred dollars for like the last five years, because I all my other videos didn't make me shit. <laughs> But uh, basically, I average about a hundred dollars a year on YouTube, which isn't much. But you know, it's something, and I don't, I don't care. Like I said, it's not really about the money. It's about helping people out, and you know, if I if I say one thing in my video that's informative or help somebody out, or I can answer a question, it's worth it to me. I'm glad I head home when I did. It's getting a little chilly out. Not bad though, not bad at all. But I can imagine it's gonna get a lot worse at nighttime. Or, well, it is nighttime, but you know, later on. Uh, from what I was hearing, we're supposed to have a lot of meteor showers out this way this, this month. Uh, I, I guess uh, if you guys are watching this video, keep an eye on the sky. I mean, they're saying in, uh, August this year, around the 20th, I think they said, we're supposed to have like meteor showers. So that'll be kind of interesting. They're saying, uh, I read an article, they said something like, uh, some parts you might see up to 100 an hour. It's like, that's crazy. It's all supposed to burn up as it's going in the atmosphere, but I guess it's a tail. It's the, the particles from the tail of a comet that goes by, I guess. The, and the Earth passes through its uh, orbit, whatever. So we, it, it, you know, the, the rocks or whatever the hell it is, ice or I don't know what the hell it is, but whatever it is, when it hits our atmosphere, it burns up. So you'll see the, you'll see it burning, I guess. I think in my lifetime I've seen two, uh, you know, falling stars or whatever they call them. So, dang, man. Frickin', these new white lights they're putting on cars, it makes it so hard to see when they're coming at you. So I think my night vlogging, unless I'm driving in a town or small town or something, I'm not gonna be doing this, like, uh, out in the middle of cornfields and stuff like I am today at night, because it, it's so hard when a car comes out of the darkness and blinds you with those stupid new LED lights. Even, even, you know, they don't even have their brights on and it's just like blinding. I don't know if I just have sensitive eyes or what, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. If you guys ride motorcycles at night and those things come at you, tell me, let me know if you guys could see, because maybe it's just me. But when they come at me, I, I'm just like a deer staring in the headlights. I can't see shit. Not so bad in the car, but I don't know, it just seems so much worse when I'm riding a bike. Alright guys, I'm going to be cutting off here pretty soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed the ride. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to start thinking about things to do during my videos, because it's... I know my videos aren't that exciting. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, stay tuned. You'll see what I'm getting within the next couple weeks. Or, you know, maybe even by this Friday. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't get a notification or anything yet. But, yeah, stay tuned. Um, when it shows up, I'll make a video. And you guys will be the first to see it. Um, subscribe. Uh, like if you want. Uh, dislike. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. Uh, but <laughs> uh, it'd be nice to get some more subscribers instead of 138. <laughs> Been there for a while. But anyways, guys, you guys take care. Have a good night or day or whatever you guys are having. Uh, uh, enjoy your family and take care. Bye.